My name is Navi Cohen from Summit Sys, and we're developing a new 3D printing technology for industrial scale manufacturing of plastic parts, but without molds. Now, for the last 140 years, plastic parts have been, been made with molds, and we feel it's about time for revolution. So we're developing a new moldless manufacturing solution that will work by taking a 3D design, using software to slice it into thousands of layers, and then building the real physical object out of plastic. And we're developing this solution because molds have some serious drawbacks, particularly in medium and low production volumes. Now, molds can cost tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's a big upfront cost that stifles a lot of innovation and a lot of new product development. They can also take up to six months to make, and once they're made, your design is literally set in steel. So if you make planes, cars, kitchen appliances, consumer goods, anything else that has plastic parts, and you find a part that's defective or poorly performing, to fix that, you have to rework or completely replace your mold. And companies lose hundreds of millions of dollars every year because of that. So we're developing a moldless manufacturing solution that'll cut the mold out of the equation and allow customers to manufacture their products without tying up money in a mold, without waiting for months to begin production, and with complete design freedom. So products can be developed and market tested without any big upfront investment, and then improved and modified based on performance and customer feedback. Our technology will also enable mass customization. Now that means having products that are mass manufactured, but specific for each and every customer. Now just as an example, Nike and New Balance have already started 3D printing custom shoes for NFL players and Olympic track athletes. But with our machine, they'll be able to offer products like that to consumers. Our machine will also change when and where people manufacture, because without a mold, there's no reason to limit your production to a single location. So we won't have to produce everything in China and then ship around the world. We'll be able to produce locally for local demand. And in the process, reduce our carbon footprint by reducing our dependence on international freight and shipping. Now, the list of benefits for 3D printing goes on. And that's why the demand for 3D printers is already at nearly a billion dollars per year. But demand for broader pl plastics processing equipment is in the billions of dollars in North America and tens of billions of dollars globally. Now, more specifically, our addressable market for moldless manufacturing includes companies in aerospace, automotive, uh, biomedical devices, consumer goods, and injection molders, as well as 3D printing service bureaus. And altogether, those industries comprise about 35,000 companies in North America, and that translates to an addressable market of over $5 billion. But to take 3D printing from being a prototyping technology to real manufacturing, we're designing a new proprietary process that will be at least two to five times faster than the current 3D printing leaders, and will have the level of repeatability and quality that's required for industrial scale manufacturing. We're also gonna free our customers to choose their own plastics. Current 3D printer manufacturers follow the razor and blade business model, and they only offer a small selection of plastics, and they sell those plastics at up to 40 to 100 times what they would normally cost. Whereas with our system, we're going to allow customers to use the same plastic pellets that are used in injection molding. Now our business model will consist of selling the moldless manufacturing machine, and to generate recurring revenue, we will have software licenses, we will offer optional hardware add-ons and upgrades, and we'll offer service and maintenance contracts. Now we know that there's a growing demand for a moldless manufacturing solution, and we validated that with local service bureaus and, indus and industry experts. We also feel that we have the right team and the right vision to get that done. JP Venturi, our VP Engineering and Development, is a mechanical engineer who has built everything from building products and industrial equipment to race cars and off-road vehicles. And David Cohen, our VP Finance, is a CPA and a 30 plus 30 plus year finance and management veteran who has worked for large enterprises, small startups, and everything in between. And me, I'm a mechanical engineer and I worked in the plastic injection molding industry, so I know firsthand the drawbacks of injection molding, as well as the requirements and the challenges faced by our customers. Now we're about to go through a third industrial revolution with incredible potential. And at Summit Sys, we're taking that potential and we're making it real with moldless manufacturing.